So the FX King is here and I've got one right here in front of me. So in this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about it. And there you have it guys, the brand new FX King. What a beautiful, stunning rifle it really is. The FX King, for some of you, probably will be very familiar, but it's actually not just a continuation of an older model known as the Crown, but the King has so much more to offer. The King is actually a combination of all the best technology and innovations that FX has done over the past years, pushed it all together into one rifle, making a true King out of it. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to round down from the back to the front, address all the features you have on the King and you will be pleasantly surprised what it all has to offer. So the first thing we will start with is that beautiful GRS stock you see right here. GRS made by the Norwegian company GRS rifle stocks, creating some of the most ergonomical, most comfortable stocks you can uh, imagine. So they also have created for the FX King, this stock you see right here, uh, perfectly suited and tailored to fit that FX King inside, like you would expect a King to wear a fine tailored suit, of course. That beautiful GRS stock, as you can see, is completely tool free. Just with the push of the button, you can raise and lower the cheek, raise, the cheek piece. And with the push of the button, you can also uh, adjust the length of pull. That is really comfortable into the field, just raising it up a little bit, adjusting the length of pull just a little bit more, which is really awesome. The grip on that stock is really next level. It has like a big, nice palm swell, slightly angled outwards for a more comfortable and natural position on the rifle when shooting it, uh, creating a very nice feel. With a big palm swell here, uh, thumb shelf here on the top to put your thumb on, uh, getting that real nice, comfortable shooting position. Some of you might realize that this is a pure right-handed stock, but I'm happy to say they're also available in a left-handed configuration. So the lefties are not left out and they can also enjoy the new FX King as it is. So that's a very nice touch there, I find. Um, the stock actually comes in three flavors. You have the brown one, like you see it right here. You also have the Nordic Wolf one, and then you have the Green Mountain Camo as well. So we have very nice stop stock options to choose from, right-handed, left-handed, different colors, very ergonomical and uh, comfortable to shoot, like we know from the GRS stocks by the Norwegian company, of course. That's all fine, dressed up in a nice tailored suit, but of course the heart and the action of the FX King is as important as well. Here we find actually a combination where they have uh, combined different technologies and innovations into one rifle. And the block here at the center you can see right here is actually exactly the same block as on a Pantera or a Dynamic. We know that the Pantera and the Dynamic block can push out a huge amount of power even in a small package thank to, thanks to that short impulse valve and the innovation of the over the barrel planner. So the King inherits all those cool things that also the Dynamic and the Pantera have. So what do we have on the King as options? Of course, you get yourself a nice uh, cocking lever, which can be converted to the left-handed side which, when you have your left-handed stock, of course. Without uh, the left-handed stock, you can't put that cocking lever on the left side because the recess that is made for that uh, uh, cocking lever is not made on the other side, as you can see right here, and therefore you can't close your bolt. So in order for it to be a lefty, you also need the left-handed stock. Uh, right behind the cocking lever, you have a thumb style safety, very nicely integrated into that stock um, with a flick of a finger, very easy to put it on safe, on or off. A little bit below it, we have of course the trigger that we know from FX, very customizable trigger, very nice feel. You can adjust it for length of pull, weight, you can adjust it first stage, second stage, so you can really tailor it to your specific needs. The trigger by FX. 
um, on that side that will be more or less it except for that magazine well of course uh, since the Pantera and the Dynamic we have seen an increase in the uh, width of the magazine or the magazine well as you can see it right here up um, now we can shoot up to 13 millimeter projectiles uh, imagine you want to shoot in 22 caliber some longer slugs um, some heavier slugs maybe in other calibers as well so the 13 millimeter uh, of length really benefits um, when you have all this power available to you of course let's turn the king around and on the other side of course what do we see right there you have your quick tune system we couldn't imagine a powerful rifle like the king without being able to uh, tune it properly of course to our needs the quick tune system of course allows us um, to, uh, to tune our rifle but not only just that when you have established a tune and you switch out from ammunition and you want to go back to your first ammunition you can always uh, quickly adjust it back to where you have were to those settings very easily and repeatable of course a little bit in front of it you have the dual gauges that we also know from the other block of course very comfortable to have them in that position not anymore at the bottom of the stock now it's very easy to monitor your regulator pressure and your bottle pressure as well having them on the left side there is very easy especially when you're shouldering it you can have a quick glance at your uh, bottle pressure or your uh, regulator even at the bench you can uh, monitor exactly what's going on there and uh, not miss that all important shot of course something new we haven't seen yet especially not on a sporter stock like this are the two um, picatinny rails right here between the barrel and the stock or bottle i don't know how you want to look at it from both sides we now have a picatinny as you can see right here this picatinny allows you to mount various amount of accessories uh, let's say you're a hunter and you want to mount there a flashlight or something you have the space to do it uh, you want to shoot at a bench and you maybe need a bipod i have believe i've seen on the internet some uh, one-legged uh, picatinny bipods that you can put on either side and have two um, bipods on each side creating a very nice stable platform to shoot from the bench of course you can mount there whatever you want for all your accessories the picatinny rails on the side a very warm welcome Right in front of those Picatinny rails underneath we have the uh, bottle. It's a 480cc carbon fiber bottle coming standard on every model of the FX King as you can see right here. Filling it up to 250 bar. The FX King can be uh, chosen in two different barrel lengths. You can have a 500mm one and a 600mm one. The version I have in my hands right here it is the brown 600mm version. Uh, the 500 millimeter ones all come with the standard superior liner, uh, perfect to shoot pellets. The second one, the 600 millimeter, comes with the standard with a heavy liner, specially uh, tailored to shoot some slugs, as it has the enough power and the runway to shoot slugs, of course. So 500 millimeter standard superior, 600 millimeter superior heavy liners. Depending on which barrel length you have chosen, the 600 one comes with a magnum plenum, which is 156 cc of plenum, that's the over the barrel plenum we have right here. And the 500 millimeter one comes with a shorter plenum, the 62 cc of course. You still have a little bit of uh, shroud underneath right here to uh, quieten down a little bit of the noise. But of course you also have your one and a half UNF uh, threads at the front to mount whatever accessory you would like to mount there. To fill up the uh, FX King underneath, we have a uh, foster connection, very nicely recessed into that uh, stock, so it's easy to get your filling equipment on and off, filling your King up. A beautiful rifle like the FX King, of course, doesn't get shipped to you in a cardboard box. Therefore, the King gets delivered to you in a nice hard case with a tailored or custom cutout foam really nicely uh, following all the shapes and contours of your FX King, protecting it when you're transporting it or uh, just storing it uh, somewhere. So that's also a very nice benefit to have a nice hard case for your FX King, of course. On the King right here, I have put in an Element Optics Helix, the first focal plane, really nice uh, scope, pairs beautiful with it, I find. But what's more important, it sits on a Picatinny scope rail, which is elevated 30 MOE, so you will never run out on elevation on your elevation. 
turrets. The FX King will be available in all calibers from 177 all the way up to 35 caliber thanks to that huge and powerful block we have inside. It comes in all the flavors and varieties of calibers you can imagine. The pallet probe we have inside is a standard normal uh, extra wide opening pallet probe that we have seen since the Pantera and the Dynamic. Really cool pallet probe and in the future there will also be a slug kit available to create even more power on the FX King. And so I believe that's everything we had to cover on the new FX King. Very beautiful new rifle sitting in a very ergonomical new stock. Whether you want to use it for the bench, hunting or some other shooting styles, the FX King can handle it all. Pellets, slugs, you name it. Just throw it down the barrel and it will shoot it. Very beautiful one. If you have any questions regarding the FX King, put them in the comment section down below and we will be sure to be answering them. When are they available? They are available right now at your dealers. So go to your local FX dealer. They should have them in stock and otherwise they can order the exact one that you're looking for. So the brand new FX King by FX Argons.